Glory, 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 hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah, we praise you, we praise you. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now we are going to start our worship service. Now I request our Pastor Philip Philip is going to come on. We we'll open our meeting. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord, for giving us one more evening in our lives to come and worship you, Lord. As we all gather here in your presence, we ask of your Holy Spirit that you come and fill this place. We invite you, Lord, in our lives and our hearts, Lord, that you will have your way. You will transform us, mold us, and make us in the image of Christ. Pray, Lord, for every worship that happens here, every song, every music, the preaching and the reading of the word, and every meditation that we thought in our hearts, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would glorify yourself in all of that. We give you glory and we give you honor, Lord, I pray, mighty God. Let your will be done in our lives today, Lord, we pray. I pray for every heart, every family, every person in this room, Lord. May they not go back the way they came in, Lord. May we all experience a fresh outpouring, a fresh anointing, a fresh touch of your hand. Let your presence be here, I pray. Let us experience your power, your presence in our lives today. Bless our wonderful musicians who will be singing to us. Bless the preaching of the word today, Lord. And every heart who is here today, may we be filled by your presence and by your power. No matter what we spoken or unspoken be in our lives, Lord. If we have you, everything else is secondary. So we thank you, Lord. Have your way and we invite you, Lord. Come, be glorified, be back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. I greet you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ with a wonderful uh, praise and worship night. Praise the Lord. Everyone is happy tonight. Anyone is happy tonight? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything. In our situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Exodus, we can see two chapters. One is a, chapter 14, is a cross over chapter. Chapter 15 is a praising chapter. Praise the Lord. Last, if you look back, we, we can understand that last maybe three and three and a half years we cross over big pandemic. Or in our life, personal life, we have so many situations we cross over. Tonight we came here to worship our God. I can say like this praise and worship. We are going to thank our God this night, tonight. Praise the Lord because He's worthy to praise, He's worthy to worship. Tonight we have a wonderful servant of God and his team, Pastor Cameron Mendes, is in our midst. He's a founder of Ashra Band and also, everyone clap your hand. Welcome Pastor Cameron Mendes and his team. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you holding okay? Amen. Yeah? Why don't you turn around to your neighbor with a smile and say you are in God's house? Just turn around. Throw us a smile, DJ. Yeah, so you are looking at Dal Lagra. Throw us a smile, DJ. You can smile a little and say, You are in God's house. Come on, one more time. Turn around to your neighbor. You are in God's house. Amen. So, this is how this evening is going to go. Hindi kitna ko samasta hai. How many understand Hindi? Okay. So, that means the rest of you. They don't understand Hindi, right? Okay. So I'm going to try my best to explain the song as well. But this is not a performance. This is not a show. This is worship. You've come to worship Jesus. We've come to worship Jesus. So can I ask you to participate and join us? Is that okay? If you don't know the song, I'll show you how to do it, okay? It's very simple. This is how we do it. 
तेरी जय तेरी जय हम जय जय कार करे कैन यू सिंग मी तेरी जय तेरी जय हम जय जय कार करे फिर से तेरी जय तेरी जय हम जय जय कार करे टुगेदर जय जय कार जय जय कार यीशु नाम की गाए हम जय जय कार आप गाए जय जय कार जय जय कार यीशु नाम की गाए हम जय जय कार इट्स वेरी सिंपल इन हिंदी व्हेन यू से जय इट मींस विक्ट्री इट मींस प्रेज and this evening as pastor started this evening is an evening of praise and thanksgiving so we want to start with saying teri jay that means lord may you be praised victory unto you is that okay to aap taali baja sakte hain hamare sath okay here we go
blood of the Lamb. Yes, Jesus, we welcome you in this place. We welcome your holy presence here, God. Truly, there is no one like you. Tere jaisa koi nahi.
say from our hearts that your name is above my pain. Yes. Your name is above my shame. Amen. Your name is above all that I'm going through this Amen. evening. Yes. If sickness has a name, if your problems have a name, if your circumstances have a name, the name of Jesus is above that name. Amen. 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 And we speak that name Jesus over all of you this evening. We speak the name of Jesus and we worship the name that is above every other name. So would you join me and sing this together, name above all names. You're the name of all.
Sometimes I am not able to see it and I feel in this room many of us are here with a lot of trust issues. You know God can do it but you're not sure if he wants to do it. You know God can heal. You know he has the power but I think you've come with that attitude that well maybe it's not for me. But I think God wants to say that I am the same yesterday, today and forever. If I healed then, I will heal now and I will heal in the future. Amen. And even though we've come with trust issues, everyone, there is not one person in this room that can say, God has never come through for me. कभी कभी हम देख नहीं पाते उसे कभी कभी हम नहीं समझ पाते हैं वो किसी ने कहा था हम दिल में नहीं आते हैं समझ में आते हैं हां परमेश्वर कहता है मैं कभी कभी शायद समझ में नहीं आता हूं लेकिन दिल में आता हूं एंड दिस इवनिंग इवन एज वी वर्शिप इट्स नॉट जस्ट सॉन्ग्स इट्स नॉट जस्ट म्यूजिक इट्स नॉट जस्ट this wonderful team up here, this wonderful church, this wonderful premises that you are in. But I think it's the presence of God that is more important than anything else. So this evening as we worship, even as we continue to worship, we'd like you to just open up your heart and say, God, I've had trust issues, but can you help me trust again? In the past, maybe I didn't believe you, but can you help my unbelief? मैंने शायद पहले विश्वास नहीं किया था लेकिन अब मेरे अविश्वास को हटा और विश्वास को बढ़ा सो दिस इवनिंग इवन एज वी कंटिन्यू वर्शिपिंग 
I just want you to keep your hearts open up. Because Let's just sit down for a moment. I bet that for a little bit. Today, I'll be sitting down for a little bit. Free cardio exercise. Okay? In a few minutes, we're going to continue worshiping. I have a dear friend, uh, Finney. Some of you might have met him before, and uh, I, I've had the privilege to know him uh, in the last two years. And just seeing his life, his his sustenance in God, and not that he's not been through a lot. He's been through a lot. Uski white dali dekhoge to you you know. I'm saying it in Hindi. I said, if you see his white beard, you'll know this man has been through tough seasons in life, but. The way God has used him, we were together in India this year. We went to India and we had a lot of ministry in many places. We both saw the work of the Lord and from that time, we can't forget what God has done. And this evening, we were, we were really thankful for Pastor and Santosh for inviting us here. And we were we were really thankful for Pastor and Santosh for inviting us here. And we've come here to lift up the name of Jesus. And as we were worshiping, I just felt the word trust issues that came and I don't know how many you don't have to lift up your hands but I think a lot of us go through the season in seasons in life where sometimes to trust God we find it difficult and it takes me back to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 if you have your Bibles please open up if you have a Hindi Bible then read it Isaiah chapter 41 Verse of uh, uh, sorry, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. You'll find it in the you'll find it after the book of Matthew. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Hindi me koi zor se pad sakta hai, agar Hindi me Bible ho to. Santosh bhai, Hindi me. Amen. Amen. Any other language or with to speak Bhasha hai yahan par? Malayalam? Does anyone want to read in Malayalam? I want to give the opportunity for another language as well. Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Yehova Kurko, Idrutu Suvaru, Nuta Nuta Balam Kunduru, or Pakshi Rajbale, Rekal Chapi, Pajikizu, Alaika Pelikatu, Sumasilaka, and Chipu. Amen. You know, this just makes me think this is a glimpse of heaven. Heaven is going to be like this different languages, different color, different heights, different sizes, but this is how heaven's going to be. Okay, so I want to point you to that word weight. They that wait. What's the word in Hindi? Hindi me kya likha hai? Jo baat jo se hai. Baat. Okay. What is in Telugu? What does the word wait? Edru chuchu. Edru chuchu. Okay. And what is the other language there? Malayalam? What is what is the word wait? Okay. One more time. Khatarna. Okay. So for all my life, I thought that word wait was, here's, hear, hear me out, okay? Does everyone understand English? Yes. Okay. So the word wait there, for all my life, I thought, you know, when you go to the doctor's office, you have to wait. If you take an appointment with a boss, you have to wait in the waiting room. If you go to catch a flight, you are in the waiting space, right? Right? And it almost gives me the idea that the action is happening somewhere else while you are in the waiting room. At least that is what I thought that they that wait on the Lord, that means Jesus is busy somewhere right now, you wait. At least that is how I felt that, you know, we are waiting, we are waiting for a miracle. And I always thought that we are waiting for our miracle. We are waiting for our breakthrough. But can I, can I change your thought process this evening? The word wait there is not what you think, what you and I think is waiting. Kabi kabi waiting 
ठहरना होता है कहीं पर रुक जाना होता है लेकिन वो शब्द जो वहाँ पर इस्तेमाल किया गया है द वर्ड वेट देयर इज एक्चुअली द वर्ड इंटरट्वाइन हैज एनी वन डन अ थ्री लेगेड रेस ओके दिस इज यस कैन वी ट्राई दिस इज यस दिस इज नो सिंपल सिंपल फॉर्मूला दिस इज यस दिस इज नो दिस इज आई डोंट केयर ओके हेल्प मी हियर हैज एनी वन डन अ थ्री लेगेड रेस वेर टू पीपल दिस स्टैंड टूगेदर देयर फीट आर टाइड एंड देन यू स्टार्ट रनिंग द रेस देर इज वॉट द वर्ल्ड वे एक्चुअली मीन्स that when you intertwine with god when you become one with him yes it's not that god is doing god is busy right now in israel and other places while your miracle is not important to him but what the word actually says is that they who intertwine they who mingle with him though they who abide in him it's called the word abiding place that is when you wait on the lord when you abide in him when you intertwine with him when you read the passion translation if you read tpt there's a different translation i don't know what translation you read in english but there are different translations niv nkjv uh yeah esv but there's a special uh one that i always go is called the passion translation or short form tpd there it says that they who intertwine with the lord and after you intertwine with the lord there is when you will fly on wings like eagles there is when you will run and you will not be weary there is when you will walk and not faint and i believe sometimes our trust issues in life are based on circumstances around us are based on what we see but god is asking you would you intertwine with me today how many want to become one with god how many want to abide in and and let it not just be yes i want to do it but let it be from your heart that you know what god i want to wait on you it has been a long time i've been waiting for my miracle and i thought i was waiting in the waiting room but today i'm going to choose to intertwine with you are you willing to do that so we're going to worship god right now continue to worship god and Even as we worship God would you come would you come in this place Can you repeat after me? 
Yeshu Nam, which means the name of Jesus. All right, so we're just going to sing this simple chorus that says Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Ki Jai Ho, which means may the name of Jesus be praised. And I remember when I first wrote this song 20 years ago, it was in my dad's church and it was just a simple gathering like this on a Monday evening. It was a leaders meeting and I was literally tuning the guitar when this song just came to me. And as we sang this song, we just sang and, the, and at that time, we just, we had not written down the whole song. It was just the chorus that came. And as we worshiped, God started moving so powerfully that people started crying, people started worshiping, people started kneeling down. There was such a thick atmosphere of His presence. And I believe that is here right now. If only you're willing to be intertwined with God this evening. If you're only willing to open up your heart, are you? Amen. Are you willing to open up your heart? Yes. So we're just going to sing. If you know the song, it's a simple chorus. We're just going to keep singing and Finney will come and he will, he's got something on his heart that God has put this evening for all of you. And even as we do that, be open for God to move. You ready? Okay.
And so I'm going to share, and as I share, I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Right? Right? We have only one desire. It's good. Right? That you have communion with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I say only what the Father asked me to say. I do only what the Father has asked me to do. So I'm really not interested in what I have to say to you. I don't want you to be interested in what I have to say to you. I don't want you to be interested in who I am, where I came from, where I think I'm going. I have only one desire to do. And that the Lord speaks something to you that you need to hear. Amen. 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 So I'm going to start and I'm going to give you your action items or the things you need to do. This is what I believe the Lord is telling me to tell you. So I'm going to turn it around instead of getting to that at the very end. I'm just going to tell you right now. So I want to know how many of you have something you can take notes on. Your mobile phone, something you can write with. So I want you to take that out. If you're on your phone, I'm assuming you're not on Facebook or Twitter or email, right? If you have something to write with or you have a phone that you can take some notes, I would like for you to take some notes, okay? And we'll get into some scripture in a moment. And to be faithful to the time, I'm going to start my stopwatch, okay? I think Cameron gave me 15 minutes, so here I go. Number one, if you want to abide with the Lord, there are a few things you have to do, right? These are no secrets. These are as plain and written in the Word of God as anything else. Number one, you must take time to read the Word. What happens when you read the Word? It says it will wash your mind. The greatest, so number one, you need to be reading or listening to the word every day. So as you are preparing for 2024, as you're looking for, Father, tell me what I need to transition to the new season. The first thing I want you to write down is read or hear the word every day. That's number one. That's your action item number one. Okay. For most of you, how many of you have a mobile app that has the word of God? If you do, raise your hand. How many of you can actually listen to that and not even have to read it? Yes? I'm just going to tell you a little practice that I've been trying to instill in my children and everyone that I meet, especially men. From the time my feet touch the carpet in the morning, I turn that on, and in 30 minutes, I can hear the scripture before I talk to my wife, before I see my children, before I read the first email or news alert. I can have the Word of God wash my mind. Okay? You will not know how to distinguish the voice of the Lord if you've never read the letter that He has shared with you. Yes? So there's no secret here. There's no theological degree in that. Right? This is the most basic thing. That's number one. And I want you to know everything I'm sharing with you, there is no condemnation in Christ. I'm not speaking to you from any place of judgment. I'm not speaking to you from any place of piety. I'm simply ch sharing with you what has changed my life. So, I'm not a pastor. I nice to see Sam here. So he and I worked at Amazon. I left Amazon in June of 2022. So for all of you who are in the marketplace, who are working in high tech, working in industry, I, I'm sharing this with you as a, as something that will transform 
your influence. God has mysteries in his word that he has reserved for his children to discover. He has hidden them away. For who to discover? For you to discover. But it starts with daily, just consuming the Word of God. That's number one. Number two, when we, we need to meditate and experiment on writing what God is sharing with you. It is great to read the Word, but I believe the Holy Spirit was sent here. Christ said, we wait on the Holy Spirit. And He's here so that He can commune and speak with us each day. Amen? Amen. So, why is this important? For all of you who are in some type of technology, I'm sure you understand running experiments. Right? God is not afraid of you experimenting with Him. He says, prove me. Test me. Right? Take a moment each day after you listen to the Word and write what you believe the Lord is saying to you. Yes? Yes. I'm just, I'm going to tell you that if you don't write, find a way to capture it. There's a great journal application called Day One. Download it. And if you have to dictate to yourself what you believe the Lord is saying to you, it could be on the bus, on your commute, it could be as you're driving, it could be in that one moment you're having your coffee. Whatever the Lord is, you believe the Lord is speaking to you, capture it. Number three, well, this is still part of number two. When he says something to you, have the courage to do that. It could be a simple thing as picking up the phone and calling someone. It could be a simple thing of saying, I'm not going to argue with my wife today. I'm simply going to say yes. I'm not desiring to be right. I'm desiring to yield. Whatever the Lord is saying to you, write that down and try to do that one day. So that's action item number two, right? Have the courage to write. God wants to speak to his children. If you cannot hear his voice, how can you do what he desires for you to do? Number three. I'm going to speak this to the men because I think the women do this pretty well. Find at least three other men that you commune with on a regular basis. We are gathered here corporately to worship, but to commune and to have fellowship with one another is not you looking at me, it's us sitting around looking at each other. Do you have at least three men, and I'm just talking to the men because I'm a man, I'll let the women speak to yourselves. Do you have three other men that you can share what God is doing in your life? Three other men that pray with you, that you can share the troubles of life, the struggles, and what God has spoken into your heart to believe. Jesus had three people he was very close to. Who were they? You remember Daniel? He had three guys. You remember his, their names? You see this pattern? If that was the pattern that Jesus used, it's a pretty good signal for us. Yes. And I would tell you, it is not easy to have those three. I'm really blessed because this is one of my... 
So that is your third action. So if you want to know something that will transform your life, the lives of the people in your family around you, do these three things regularly. Yes? So now I'm going to share something from the Word. But before I do that, I just want to pray. Heavenly Father, I just pray that whatever is spoken, that you would see your word in the hearts that need to hear this. Father, be glorified. I thank you that you are in this place. I thank you that the people who are here are not here by mistake. They're not in this region, in this town, in this state by mistake. You have a reason for them being here, Lord, and I pray that you will uncover that as they draw near and abide in you. Amen? Amen. So first scripture I'd like to have you read, and I need someone to help me with this. First Peter chapter 3 verse 8. So I'm going to request somebody read this in English for me. Anybody have this in English already? So we're going to read verses 8 through 10. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. I'd like to have somebody read that in Hindi, if you have it. Anybody have that in Hindi? Ramadan sab ke sab ek man aur tupa mein aur bhai chare ki priti rakhne wale aur karuna mein aur namr bano. Brai ke badle brai mat karo aur na gali ke badle gali do aur iske vidhuri shish ki do. Kyunki tum ashish ke varis hone ke liye bulaye rahe ho. Peter is not talking to the unsaved. Peter is not talking to the Gentiles. Peter is talking to the church. That's some really curious words to be speaking to the church. What does it say? Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion for one another. Christ said, they will know you by your love for one another. Who is the one another? The people sitting next to you. Right? Men, when you find three other men that you can be in one mind, that you can regularly have compassion with, right? You can love as brother. I'm not... The word here that I want to share, it says... Love as brothers and be compassionate and humble minded. Be compassionate and humble minded. Do not repay evil with evil or ins insult with insult, but on the contrary with blessing. How many times have we sat together? And we have all sorts of crazy thoughts about one another. <laughs> right? Why didn't the pastor talk to me today? Right? Why wasn't I greeted this way? No one's reaching out. Nobody texts me. Nobody, you know, etc. How many different opinions do we have of how something should be done? What is Peter saying here to the church? Right? Verse 8, if you could put on verse 8. Be in one mind and feel it. When you start to do this, it says the world will know you are what? His disciples. They're not going to know it by how well you know the scripture, what you quote to one another, what you say you for or against. We have enough of that today. 
Yes? We have enough division. He says, they will know you by the love you have for one another. It's not just amongst one nationality, it's across nationalities. Yes? I want to move on to the next verse. This one is in Daniel chapter 1. I believe this is really special for the group of people that are here. Especially for the young people, for the young married couples, for those who are working day in, day out in this region that we are in. It is not by accident that you are here. This is a really challenging place to be. And you may be wondering, it's really interesting, Cameron and I have not actually spoken physically today. Right? But the Holy Spirit, there's only one Spirit. Right? There's one God, one Father, one Spirit, one body. When he talked about abide and trust issues, for those of you who are in the marketplace, this is not an easy place. You're dealing with challenges and differences of opinion in how you should manage your time, your priorities, that is a constantly taking your attention. Yes? I want someone to read for me Daniel chapter 1, starting with verse 3. Thank you. I want you to mark this scripture. If you are working in the marketplace today, I want you to raise your hand. Come on, raise your hand. Lord, I pray that you would reveal to the folks who are sitting here the mysteries that you have in this chapter. Verse 19, the king interviewed them, and among them all none was found, like Daniel, Hananiah, Michel, and Ezra. Therefore they served they serve before the king in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them. He found them to be ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in his realm. Later we read in Daniel, and I don't have time for that part, where the king had a dream, and he asked everyone in Babylon, he said, tell me my dream. Do you know what Daniel did? Daniel went to his three other brothers, and he said, let's pray. How many brothers? When you take the time to honor the simple rituals in your life that put God first, he says, you will be ten times that of anyone else in the land. And I believe this is a word for some of you sitting here today. You do not need to fear what 2024 will bring. You do not need to worry about the conflicts. You don't need to worry about what's happening to the interest rate. You don't need to worry about what's happening in the marketplace. You don't need to worry about the devaluation of the currency. What you need to do is have those simple three rituals in your life that allow you to abide in the Lord's presence. Because he's going to reveal to you wisdom, ideas, insights, and concepts that will be ten times better than anything else in the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. So my time is up. I think I'm four minutes over, maybe. I'm sorry.
So if this is something that you are interested in committing to, I want to pray for you, but I want you to raise your hand as a sign of commitment. And you, you understand those three action items. And it is something that you intend to do. There is no way to really hear God's voice until you take some action. Capture it. Write it down. Capture it in your notes. Transcribe it. It doesn't matter. And then ask the Lord the courage to do one of those. Find three. Find three that you can spend time with on a weekly basis. They could be at your workplace. They may not go to church with you. They may not look like you. They may not talk like you. It doesn't matter. There is one God. There's one body. And there's one spirit. Amen? So I'm going to ask you to raise your hand and close your eyes if you are ready to commit to those three simple action things. And I'm going to pray for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are going to build consistency to learn to abide in you. As Cameron shared, to get intertwined with you. To walk with you. Father, give us the courage to do the simple things that you ask us to do each day. Holy Spirit, lead us to three others that we can gather together, be of one mind, be of unity with you. Because you say when we come together, when we gather in unity, you release your power in our life. And we are looking forward to the testimony of what you are going to do for them. In Jesus' name, amen.
surrender, to abide in Him, to trust Him. I remember when I wrote this song by Hap Kagar Gaunga. At that time, I thought it was in worship that I was singing, you know, by Hap Kagar Gaunga. But this evening, even as we speak, even as we speak about abiding, even as we speak about trusting God again, would you be willing to say, God, yes, I'm lifting my hand in worship, but I'm also lifting up my hand and saying, God, nothing is in my hands, it's all in your hands, and I surrender. And you know, when you go to a child, when you try to lift them up, what's the first thing they do? Right? So this evening, if you want to sit, you can, and as Pastor asked if some, someone wants prayer, we continue praying, we, we have a few more minutes. But even as we close with this song, If you want to surrender this evening, if you want to say, God, you know, I want to come back to you. Why don't you just take a step forward and just come, just come to the front. God is everywhere. It's not that Jesus is only here in the front, but he's everywhere. But it's your step of faith. Finney, would you also join Pastor and pray for people? Because I still feel there are many in the room who have trust issues, who are not sure. God, I know you're there, but are you going to work for me? Are you going to do a miracle this evening? Mahad Thakar. Just like a little child, that God, I surrender. पीछे जितने भी लोग बैठे अगर आपको मेरी आवाज आ रही है आज इस शाम को अगर परमेश्वर को आप समर्पित फिर से करना चाहते हो वी कैन ऑलवेज कीप सरवेंडरिंग इट्स नॉट अ वन टाइम जॉब इट्स अ प्रोसेस अगर आप फिर से समर्पित करना चाहते हो अपने जीवन को तो हम चाहते हैं कि आप आगे आए कि बोले हम आपके साथ आराधना करेंगे और पास्टर है फिनी है हम प्रार्थना करेंगे आपके लिए अगर आप चाहते हो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन इवन स्टैंड वेर एवर यू आर एंड विल कम एंड प्रे फॉर यू यू वी गो
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we are going to say a word of thank. Uh, I request uh, our secretary, Brother Sundar Babaji, is going to come forward. Now over to Brother Sundar. Praise the Lord. I want to really, really thank each and every individual who is present in this house of God. And we are here to worship Him. We are here to magnify His name. हम यहाँ पर आए हैं उसकी आराधना करने के लिए उसकी महिमा करने के लिए और परमेश्वर ने ये अवसर हमें प्रदान किया है तो हम परमेश्वर धन्यवाद हैं आई वी मेरा थैंक माई डियर ब्रदर एंड पास्टर कैमरन एंड एवरीबॉडी हु इज कम हियर एंड हेल्प डज दिस वर्शिप और थैंक ईच एंड एवरी पास्टर फ्रॉम ऑल द चर्चेज गैदर हियर एंड ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट चर्चेज माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन क्राइस्ट I want to thank each and every one of you. Uh, definitely, you know, like uh, we always focus upon the leaders. So, but we no, we forget that uh, the people who play instrument are very instrumental in our life. So, the instrumentalist, the people who work behind, and thank you, Penny, for uh, the wonderful word of God. The food which we have right now is uh, the hard work of everybody. Every person has brought some something from their house, and I really want to thank each and every individual who has contributed for the kingdom of God. Now we are going to close our meeting. I request Mr. Pasak B C Abraham is going to come and close our meeting. Let us stand in the presence of God. Please, arise, Lord. Lord, our Lord, Thou have been our dwelling place in all generation. Before the mountain we are brought forth, Lord, Thou have formed us. You are everlasting, to everlasting, Thou art God. Father, thank you for this special occasion, and Father, thank you for knowing you are our Father, and your Son Jesus Christ is our Savior, and the Holy Spirit is our Comforter and Companion in all our journey. Oh Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for your touching love and salvation in our life. Especially praying for the all the ministers, Pastor Cameron and and our team, and special message from the evangelist Fini and the all the pastors and the brothers gathered together in here. Lord, we thank you for their service and their ministry and bless them each and every one. Hallelujah. And we submit in thy mighty hand also, Lord. Lord, I am praying for this church, for this hosting church, um, and the pastor, Pastor um, Noble uh, Samuel is uh, uh, doing the wonderful ministry in this city and bless him and bless his family. Lord, we pray for the, all the individual and participating the ministry in in this church and the different part of this region and bless and each and every one of us, Lord. Lord, we are departing from here. We want uh, uh, that peace and the grace with us, Lord. Hallelujah. And we heard about every day, new dedication, new decision we want to take and read. God, we want to go through the Bible every day. Lord, we want to hear thy voice in our personal life, Lord. Hallelujah. Help us to, Lord, and wash out through the blood of Jesus Christ and through the word of God. And let the Holy Spirit control our life in coming days, oh Lord. Thank you for everything you've done in past and whatever you are doing in the present and whatever you are going to do in future we submitting ourselves we submitting our life in thy heart oh lord heal us lord hallelujah protect us lord hallelujah once again thank you and submitting everything in the mighty hand in jesus precious name we are asking and pray amen, amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of the Father yes. and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one, both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.